What's good, YouTube? Jayla here. Now, as y'all can see in today's video, I am back again with another bank. Now, I want to say thank you for all the love that you guys have been showing on my recent videos. If you were in a stream today, I appreciate you for stopping by. But if you wasn't in a stream, I am now dropping my official NBA 2K23 next gen build. In the previous video, if you watched the video all the way through, that build was what I was going with, but I had to tweak a couple things to make it a little better. Now in this video, I made the build, I tweaked it, I did what I had to do, and the build came out perfect. I didn't get a chance to try it out and park yet because I literally had nobody to play the game with. If you're wondering how I was playing the game early on stream, I got early access. Appreciate and shout out to NBA 2K for inviting your girl to the 2K Community Day event and also giving everyone who attended the event a early access code to NBA 2K23. No, I did not play on a New Zealand account. I strictly just had the game early from NBA 2K company itself. Now, as you guys can see in the background, I made a point guard. I think I made the height 6'3". Um, weight was like 190 or 180. I didn't want to go too big or too small. I just, I just went right in the middle just so I could still have some type of, you know, way of protecting myself against bigger defenders as you can see with the 190 you just look at the stats on the side of the screen look at the stats on the side of the screen i honestly enjoyed this build i did play a my career game and um with this build and i can honestly say it performed very well and i'm also going to put you guys on to a great jump shot to use in this game for all pg builds um will it work with a shooting guard build most likely but i would say if you're under or, or you're within that 6'3 height, you're gonna be very, you're, you're gonna be very good. You're gonna be very good. Right here, as you guys can see, these are the attributes that I upgraded on my build. I gave myself a 71 close shot, a 80, a 80 driving layup, a 81 mid range, 90 three point shot, a 67 free throw, pass accuracy 80, ball handling 92. Speed with ball, 90. Interior defense, 46, which was only upgraded because I had to put that up in order to have something else up. 86 perimeter D, a 60 steal. Same thing with the defensive rebounding, 41. Um, my physical, as y'all can see, both, I think that's uh, speed and acceleration, which is 89. Whatever was next, I don't know if it's strength or what, but I had 73, 65, and 99 stamina. I ended up with... 26 playmaking, 10 defensive, 10 finishing, and then I had 24, if I'm not mistaken, 24 shooting. Now right here, as you guys can see for my takeover, I went with limitless range. And for the secondary takeover, I went with extreme clamps. This build will have great defensive, great shooting, great playmaking, and it has a good enough finishing. Now with that being said, Let's get into the gameplay for the build, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so in this gameplay here, as you guys can see, I am bringing you guys some of my career gameplay. Sorry it isn't part. I will bring some part gameplay really soon when I have the chance to and when I have some teammates online. Even though I had early access, I had no one to play with. Everybody that was online was basically just working on their builds. So, as you guys can see by the gameplay in the background, the first shot that I took it wasn't that contested, but it had a little contest system to it. Now, the gameplay feels so smooth. Defense feels so smooth. And just playing overall feels so smooth. So as y'all can see, step back are so crucial in this game. It's so crucial in this game, man. I, I, I like it. Y'all are going to see me doing more step backs this year. The step back that I had on this gameplay right here is actually was a standard step back. It wasn't a dribble move that I equipped for my player. So just imagine when I put on an actual step back. It's going to be so crucial. Now, as you guys can see right here, I hit another green release. I hit another green release. The shot that I'm using is so excellent like it's an excellent smooth jump shot it kind of almost feels like my jump shot from the previous 2k that's just how smooth it is i had literally just put this jump shot on guys and i'm already greening consistently with this shot now i'm going to have this jump shot at the end of the video for you guys so that you guys can try it out test it on your build 
um, if you're probably bigger than 6'3", 6'4", you know, just, just, I would say 6, probably 6'3", 6, 6, I don't know if you will get the base that comes on this jump shot. But it will be at the end of the video for you guys to just try it out. Now, one thing I did notice, it doesn't matter how many threes you score, attribute points are going to take a minute. Like, not, not even attributes. Your badge points are going to take a minute to go up, guys. Like, I played one game, scored, like, almost 30 points. In this game, I think I scored almost 30 also, but it was 20-something. And my, my shooting badge points barely went up. Like, it barely went up. So... You really have to go crazy. You have to drop a lot of points. You have to shoot very consistently in order to just get badge points. Like the badge, the badge points takes a minute to get. Let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section to the people who probably played it already. If anyone's on Xbox, let me know how you guys think about it. The only people I know who's able to play right now are Xbox people because they're changing their time zone over to New Zealand. So as you guys can see, as you guys can see, the jump shot is butter. It's butter. The jump shot is butter, man. You don't have to do too much. All you have to do is do a couple moves, create space for yourself, and you're going to get the shot off. The base is not too slow, and it's not too fast. I have it on the highest speed. I have it on the fourth speed, guys. And just look how it looks. It's, it looks so smooth. It's not quick at all. It's not impossible to time. It's just it's smooth. It's right there in between, man. So as you guys can see, that's another one. Look at my face. That's another one. I'm like, hold on. Let me find out. Let me find out. I got plugged in with one of the best jump shots in the game right now. Look at me, bro. 19 points. 7 for 9 for the 3. I'm going crazy right now. But I feel like 2K23 is going to be a great game this year. It's going to be a great game. I'm so motivated to just upload for you guys. Like, it just feels so different and better. I don't know why, but it does. Like, if you're not playing next gen and you have a PS5, bro, please play next gen. Look at this, man. Look at me in the background. I'm going crazy. Please play next gen if you have it. Current gen doesn't look bad, bro. But if you want to play that, you might as well go play 2K22 current gen. It looks the exact same. It looks dry. It doesn't look amusing. It doesn't look fun. It looks dry, bro. If you don't play next gen this year and you have a PS5, you're literally part of the problem as to why the community keeps staying on current gen. Now, if you have a current gen and, and, and you have the bread to get you a PS5, just make that switch, bro. You won't regret it. Make that switch. I'm making the switch. To my current gen viewers, I'm still going to show y'all some love. I'm still going to do that. But make sure y'all show me some love as I make this switch. It's just to better my audience, man. It's to better my audience, to get a bigger viewership, and to just expand it. You know, I'm still going to show you guys some love. I did make a build on current gen. Will that be my official build? I don't know just yet. But I did make a build on current gen, and I'll share it with you guys once I get ready to start playing that game. Oh. Let's get into the dribble moves that I use and the jump shot that I use. Drop a like on the video if you got this far. 25 points, shooting 75% from the three. I don't think that's that's bad. I don't think that's that bad. Y'all let me know down in the comment section, but let's get into it. All right, guys. Now, we are back on the game here. Now, it's time for me to show you guys my jump shot along with the dribble moves that I do have equipped right now. I'm not fully maxed out on the dribble moves, but I did put on the most important your moves that was needed the most in the most important category now let's look at this jump shot first now, as y'all can see with my jump shot base darius garland now i was saying in my previous video the best jump shot out right now for guards are uh, is darius garland now i used the jump shot as my base and with my release we went bradley bill now y'all might be like what bradley bill hey it's butter it's butter try to jump shot out for try to jump shot out for you for yourself and let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section on current gen people too try to jump shot out on current gen and let me know how it feels because i'm going to probably use this shot on current gen when i make my build for current gen so let me know how you guys feel about it um we did go max speed 
which was four out of four and with the blending we kept it at 50 50 considering it's the same release already so that is the jump shot for the build dribble moves dribble style pro signature side of steve francis size up escape package john wall moving crossover and everything else going down is on normal it is on normal because i still have to max out my build and get all of the dribble moves that i want for my build it's also on normal because a lot of a lot of dribble moves aren't a lock yet and isn't showing or the ones that i want isn't showing but we are going to max out everything else but i'm just showing you guys what i have right now on my build and it's doing justice it's doing its job now that is it for the animations let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought about this video try my build out you will not be disappointed this mother is this thing is tough it is tough bro the build is tough i might make the same build for current gen i'm not even gonna lie to you guys but drop a like on the video i'll see you guys in the next one peace out